Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bella, and today we're going to be doing a Korean glass skin look, a trend that hasn't died down because of how classic it is. It's all about having luminous and healthy looking skin. But a lot of the products that you see in some videos can be quite heavy for Filipino complexions and Philippine weather. So I'm going to share with you guys a Korean glass skin look that won't weigh your skin down. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Skin prep is really important when you're trying to do a look like this. So we're going to start, of course, with a lot of hydrating products. But they should still be lightweight. Otherwise, there's a chance that your sunscreen is going to pill. I'm going to be using the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Toner. If you want to achieve a glowy look, Hyaluronic Acid is probably your best bet because it has a temporary plumping effect. Next, I'm going to go in with the serum. And this one is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops by Glow Recipe. I love the serum because it has a nice and glowy finish. So it's really going to contribute to that glass skin effect. Now we're going to go in with a moisturizer, and I prefer gel creams usually. Today we're going to go in with the Naturium Niacinamide Gel Cream. I like the gel cream because it doesn't have any oil in it, but it does have polysaccharides that help trap moisture and hydration. Lastly, we're going in with SPF, and I'm using the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. It's my favorite SPF. I'm actually about to run out, but it also has a nice dewy finish. Just apply like you would normally to your face. And because my lips have been feeling really dry lately, I'm just gonna prep them with a lip gloss. This is the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly. It's moisturizing, but it's still really lightweight, which I love. Now that skin prep is done, we'll get right into the makeup. When we're doing a Korean glass skin look, we want to go for skin tints, tinted skin oils, or the, even cushions. Those kinds of products will give you that almost sheer effect without weighing your skin down. And today I'm using my favorite one, which is the Active Skin Tint by Issy & Co. My shade is Hazel. I just take one pump of that and I apply it like I would a moisturizer. So I just dot it over my face. And then I'm going to go in with a concealer to camouflage any blemishes that I have. My favorite one is the Cossess Revealer Concealer. I use the shade 5.5. Here in the corner, inner corner of my eye and the outer corners too. Just one is enough. And then if I have any remaining redness here and any blemishes that I want to cover up. I'm going to use the Cossas Cloud Set in the shade Cushiony. And I'm going to go into the areas that need setting. After doing my base, I usually like to go into eyes and I'm going to go in with a, you guys already know, dark brown waterproof liquid liner from BLK Cosmetics. And I'm gonna line my eyes very close to the waterline. And I'm going for a puppy dog liner look. Now that the liner is done, we're gonna go in with eyeshadow and I'm using the Remand Better Than Eyes palette. The one I'm using is Dry Ragress one. And I'm going, gonna go in with this color to contour my lid and add a little bit of color back into it. I'm going to take some of the color and pat it onto the lid. Again, very close to the lash line. Then I'm going to take the darkest brown and I'm going to apply it close to my lash line so that there's a little bit more dimension to the eye. The bottom waterline, shade out the corner. And then we're going, gonna go in with the shimmery shade and just line the inner halves of my eyes. Now for brows, I'm gonna go in with the Issy & Co. Brow Gel in the shade Ash. I tried the Brow Gel from Remand and for some reason I just have no luck when it comes to clear brow gels. They always flake on my brows which are very dense. And it looks like I have dandruff on my eyebrows, so not cute, but 
That's the reason why I stick to colored brow gels. I've curled my lashes off camera so we can go straight into mascara and I'm using the Romand Han All Fix Mascara L02 Long Lash. I really love this mascara because it, first of all, it preserves the curl of my lashes and then it also has a really nice long applicator. It makes it super easy to get feathery long lashes. Next, I'm gonna apply individual Ardell lashes in short black to the outer corners of my eye. Next, I'm gonna use the Roman See-Through Melting Coral Blush. You kind of have to push the product into your skin so you actually see it. And for contour, I'm gonna use the BLK Cosmetics Contour Blush and Highlight Palette. And I'm just gonna dip into the contour shade. Just a little bit. For highlight, I'm going in with the Roman See-Through Veil Lighter. I got the shade Sunkissed. So I put that in the corner inner corners of my eye and then I'll take it onto my cheekbone the highest point of my cheekbone it looks pretty good I thought it actually wouldn't show up on camera but I think it shows up more on camera than it does in real life next we're going to do a gradient lip we're using the Romand Zero Velvet Tint in the shade number 18 Petal Tassel a few dots on my lip and just blot it in. For the second application, I'm just applying it in the inner part of my lips. Okay, I'm obsessed. I think this is one of the only powder tints that I like. It's super light and it doesn't settle too much into my lip lines, which is amazing. As the last step, I'm just gonna apply some setting spray. I'm using the Urban Decay. And this is the finished look. Do you guys love it? Because I do. And it was actually super easy to do, so I think anyone can achieve this, even with very affordable products. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!